just a few moments. And Marcus, we witnessed it earlier. We witnessed the carnage, if you will, of both of those bouts. One ended a little bit. Well, you see it right there. Yes, we do. Eric took taking it to Wilshire right there, flooding him up, losing him up a little. And he took the, uh, he tapped Wilshire out. There is Eric Cook right there, his hand raised in victory. He was the first to come to was able to pick up the victory early. He came out of this fight very fresh. Aarons is a highly respectful young man and a great young fighter. We'll look forward to seeing more of him tonight in the main event. Tom Aarons versus Eric Culp, MCC 20, last man standing. Tell the tape, Brian Green continues to join us. Brian, run us through it. We got Eric Culp here, 5'9", 145 pounds. He's got about a four-inch reach on uh, Tom Aarons here. Uh, Eric Culp is 8-0. And uh, Tom Aarons is 11 Dim the ninja. <laughs> yeah, dim the ninja. All right, ninja. we'll go for the official in ring introductions <laughs> for our final bout of the night. Sean T. Sean. All right, MCC fans, this is our main event of the evening. It is our finals in our MCC featherweight tournament. This bout brought to us by our friends at the Twisted Parrot. Make sure you join them tomorrow night, 9 p.m. as the UFC 97 goes live, no cover charge, cheap drinks, as they are the official venue for all UFC and MCC events. Make sure you head out to the Twisted Parrot located at 6500 Hickman in Windsor Heights. First up, fighting out of the red corner, Standing five feet, 10 inches tall, he weighed in at 144 pounds, a freestyle fighter from Team Hard Drive out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. This is Eric Newbreed Cog. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner. Standing five feet six, he weighed in at 145 pounds, a wrestler and a ground and pound fighter out of Team Intensity from Fort Dodge, Iowa. Give it up for Tom Aarons. All right, the crowd, of course, getting behind it. Again, the main event in front of us now. Bout number 11, MCC 20, last man standing. Who will indeed be the four-man featherweight tournament victor here? Will it be Tom Aarons or Eric Koch? That is the question, Scott. A lot of people are asking. You know, both sides are being drawn right now. Fans on both sides uh, predicting a win for their man. We're just going to see it right now as they start their action in the first round. Here we go. And again, Brian Green rejoins us for the call and the play-by-play. -play. Brian? They're coming out here, filling each other out. It looks like Tom Aarons is trying to, to close the distance. <clears throat> Got him up against the cage here. Probably going to look to throw some knees and then drop down to a double leg. He did just that. He threw some knees. Now he's trying for what looks like a, a judo toss. But it looks like Eric Koch has reversed that position. Koch has... is down on the double leg now. Takes him down. Wrestling and ground and pound background for Tom Aarons. He's on the bottom right now. Not a place where wrestler is comfortable in being. Eric Koch, more of a freestyle fighter. His record, 8-0, I think is... Well, that says quite a bit about his ability. Uh, Eric Koch's a very, very, very talented fighter. Man. I've had the opportunity to roll with him a couple times and train with him. He's, he's very slick on the ground. He's really relentless. He goes from, from one transition to another on the submissions. He's got a good ground and pound, as you're seeing here. He lands a nice right hand. Tom Aarons here is closing his guard, trying to keep going for a sweep now. <clears throat> is, is, um, is Coke trying to work to a position where he can... Um Pass his guard to get him into a full mount. Yeah, it's it's hard to pass his guard though. You can't pass his guard until he opens up his guard. Okay. Now, also, uh, Tom Aaron's here. He's not going to be able to pull any submissions until he opens up his guard. So on top now, Coke looking to force the action. Aaron's looking to dodge those blows as they come down from the heavens. So far, Aaron's doing a good job blocking those. Blows. Aaron's giving up his back here. He doesn't want to give up his back. That's what he's been doing, that Brian. Just like you mentioned, he doesn't want to give up his back. Nice knee from Cook. That's the danger you put yourself in. In this position, Aarons. See, he's, Aarons is still kind of giving up his back. Coke's going to try and catch his hooks here. Coke has, has uh, Tom Aarons left arm trapped here. If he could get his right leg around his, his back, then he could uh, trap his arm and then he wouldn't have any control for fighting the rear naked choke. 
attacking Coach Blows with his arm is Tom Aaron, standing him back up against the Eric Coke has a Kimura locked up here. Yep. Okay, gave it up. Aaron takes his back. You can see Coke here. He's kind of looking to throw an elbow, looking back to see where his head's positioned at. Aaron's throwing some good knees to the thighs of Coke right there. Coke needs to catch that leg and hit, hit a, a, a switch, if you will, reaching inside his leg. Now Aaron's going to try to take a down. He needs to drop down, pitch his knees together, and get that double leg takedown. And what does Coke have to do to prevent that? Coke wants to either see he's got his wrist control here. He can, uh, I mean, he's got a couple different things he can go for. He can get crazy and go for a flying triangle there. He's got his underhooks here. He wants to have his, his underhook on, on one, of, one of the sides for sure. If he can get it on double underhooks, then it's better position. He's, he's just kind of working to follow some knees here. A few good knees from Coke here in the, the exchange between the man. Coke having Aaron's pinned up against the cage. The action continues here, MCC 20, last man standing, the final battle of the night, the main event, if you will. Oh, nice punk by Aaron, just dropped it. Eric dropped, now he's about to hit a triangle right here. Aaron's Switching up to a little guy. Coke has Aaron's arm. Eric Coke is a very flexible grappler, man. He can bring his legs up and, and hit those triangles. He can hit his rubber guard. Um, go into the Oma Plata shoulder locks. Nice sweep. Nice. Wow. Great transition right there. Put right back right over. Top. Yeah, nice move by Coke, huh? We've been talking about that all night, Scott. The reversals, the transitions, the man going from the bottom to the top. He just keeps going. This is an example of that tonight. We're right in front of us right at the broadcast table right now. Right there. Drove his fist right into the canvas. This is turning into a good, good main event fight, boys. It sure is. One minute remains in round number one. Nice knee by Harris. This again, the main event, and it is turning out to be just that. We need to turn by Coke right there. This is turning into a great bout right here. You, think, you guys think these men can keep this up for uh, five, four rounds, 25 minutes? It's a long time, man. I don't know if I could. <laughs> I'm with you, Scott. I'm winded already. You see, Coke, Coke's getting wrist control in there, man. When, when he gets a hold of that wrist and he has a good grip on it, he can come over the top with an elbow and he can control by having by having a hold of his wrist. He can control uh, Aaron's not being able to block that, that elbow when he sneaks it in for his punch. He sucked in a knee there. Oh. Tom, Tom Aaron needs to turn to the side. He needs to turn to an angle and spread his spread his legs apart here. Uh, now now like Coke's taking his back. Turn the, turn the wrong way, did Aaron's, but toward the end of the round. So Good first we'll, round. We'll go to round number two, and I know we're going to get an opportunity to break this down, maybe even in slow-mo, courtesy <laughs> of our friends at Mediacom. We'll take a look at some of the action from round number one. Yeah, what's going on here, Brian? See, uh, uh, I was going to show you there. See how he came over the top with that left hand? He got caught right there. Yes, he did. It um, stunned him. It was a momentary stun. Mm -hmm. But he recovered nicely. I mean, they both seem to exchange punches at some point in this fight. Yep. Yeah, he just threw it, man, and it found, it found Eric Koch's chin. Koch knocked Aaron's him down, didn't put him in that much danger, but it, it caught him, you know. He let him know that he's there. That was two great looks. At, uh, at that shot. By the way, um, the winner of our uh, Warrior Spirit Award earlier was Will Shutt. One half of, no, he didn't win, but he was one half of the first bout of this four-man featherweight tournament. Yeah, Will, Will's tough, man. I, I, I would enjoy watching Will fight. He's a good fighter. He always comes and he, he fights with all of his heart, man. Um, he he kind of got dominated a little bit, mm -hmm. but, but man, he was in it till the end. He, oh, yeah. he wasn't giving up, defending that rear naked choke. Eric Coke is just on you, man. Second round action right now. Nice low kick. Nice so high that's, kick. That's another example. If they would throw those punches to set up those kicks, then them kicks are going to win. You know, they're, they're worried about the punches, and the next thing they know, they're waking up from getting kicked in their face because they, they were set up. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if they do it. Nice, nice combination. Good exchange. Great exchange, but it was one of those as he comes in. Nice duck down. Nice duck on the body. Yeah. Tom Aaron's going for the double leg takedown here. You see Eric Coach trying to suck that underhook in, and then he pulls him right back up there. And good takedown defense. Very good takedown defense. You're right about that one. Aaron 
comes down with it back up against the cage above our very broadcast site. And it's Combs looking to land some of those knee blows, Marcus. They are both trying to work those knees and gain an advantage from this position right here, Brian. Ah! Watch Coke, watch Coke go to uh, control that wrist, and then he tries to sneak those elbows or those punches in. Right now, Aaron's with his back against the cage. Coke looking to keep that pressure on. Both men's got firing knees back and forth. It's hard to tell who is winning this fight as far as I'm concerned this early in the second round. Both men working, though. Nice and, and that's what the judges are looking for. That makes the judges' position very difficult indeed. Double underhooks for Eric Koch here. Look at Look that. Oh, nice knee up top. Look for him to toss Aaron's here. He's got to get his hips across and, and try and get some elevation on it. He can get a pretty big slam out of that. He's set up for it. Koch looking to sweep the legs up from underneath Aaron's. Aaron's defending well. Great fight, you guys. Great night of that. Both men staying busy in this situation position right here. Any more competition the way it is across the country, it's hard not to find a good fight. Unbelievable competition. And there's... Eric Koch drops down for the double leg. He's going to suck him up here, try to get his hips in and get him elevated. Aaron good defense by Aaron's. Great sprawl. Really helped to. Now Tom Aaron's goes for a Kimura here. He's got the Kimura locked up. He needs to turn into him and then throw the... Oh, he's not going to get it. Good, good defense by Eric Koch here. Looks like that arm is, that left arm of Coke is still trapped. As, as you can see, Eric Coke is moving to his left. He's he's stopping. His Eric Coke's left left arm is in danger right now by the Kimura that Tom Aaron's has on him. Tom Aaron's needs to put Eric Coke's hand back behind his back and go for the submission with the Kimura. If he can, as you can see, Eric Coke is, is stepping around to the left and he's blocking his his arm in so that he can't clear it. Okay. You can also see the shine on the surface, the matte surface here, because both of these fighters are sweating now profusely. Right. And now he has that left Good control. Arm. He's got his hooks in. Looks like he's trying to soften him up for a rear naked choke, Brian. Something we've seen quite a few times. There's his rear naked choke. <clears throat> he may may have it here. Looks like it's something pretty tight right there. Good. Tom Aarons pulls off that hand. It looks like this is going to be it, guys. He looked like he wanted to tap that earlier. Oh, about that, huh? That was a good fight, man. That did not disappoint. Very exciting. 